to my channel. Okay, so, hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jack, or Corn's Cocktails, and in today's episode, we're going to be making something called an apple daiquiri. Something I've actually never heard of myself until I came across the recipe yesterday. Um, sorry, two days ago now, actually. Uh, as I made in a previous video, the strawberry daiquiri, uh, I love that and the sound of an apple daiquiri to me sounds 10 out of 10 because I love everything apple, everything fruity, anything nice and sweet like that. Um, yeah, let's get straight into the video. Hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so for our cocktail today, I'm about to make the apple teeny. Sorry, don't know where I got apple teeny from, probably because I was looking for that recently. We're about to make the apple daiquiri. Firstly, you're going to want to grab your cocktail shaker, fill it up with ice like so and then you're going to want to get hang on I've lost oh, I'm leaving everything behind hang on I need to get the jigger okay let's try that again so you're going to want 100 mils of light rum like so 100 mils of that And then you're going to want 50 mils apple schnapps. And they're like so. And next, you're going to want 50 mils of lime juice. Freshly squeezed I've used today, but you can use that to bottle. Doesn't really matter. I always just prefer the fresher ingredients if I can get them. There we are, 50 mils lime juice, and then you're going to want 25 mils of the simple syrup. You guys all know how to make simple syrup from my previous videos, so 25 of that, like so. And then, you're going to want to get the lid to your cocktail shaker, like so. And give it a shake for 30 seconds. And then, oh my god, maybe it's a bit gassy. And then you're going to want to shake, so strain it. Done into an old fashioned martini glass. Already, it's got a very apple y scent to it. A oh, very nice colour, actually. I quite like that. And then for your garnish, you simply get a wedge, sorry, a wheel of lemon on the side of the glass, like so. And there you have. Your apple daiquiri. Okay, so now it's time to taste test the apple daiquiri. Thought I was going to hit the word there, didn't you? This one's got a very sweet smell to it. Very lemony sweet smell. It's strong tasting. You can definitely taste the rum in it. It's very nice though. It's got the very apple taste from the apple sours. Sorry, catches Jack Schnapps. On the same thing really. That's very nice, a very sweet one. This is the sort of cocktail you're only going to want one of though, because it's a very sickly sort of sweet taste, but nothing wrong with just one of them, that was actually quite nice. Uh, in my personal opinion, strawberry daiquiri is always going to win, but that I can see myself drinking on a very hot day. Nice hot summer's day, nice barbecue, no, uh, maybe party even, seems like a sort of party cocktail, plus you don't really have to like, you can pre-mix this, you can get yourself like a nice big jug of it, pre-mix it, and then you're sorted for the whole party really. So that'll be a good one for, if you've got multiple guests, multiple people go into a party, something like that. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed today's video, hope you guys enjoy making today's cocktail, uh, catch you later, see you in the next video.